thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, How hometown you boy. I'm feeling good. That felt like a game engine intro right there. So. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I needed that right there. That's <laughs> it. And a lot of people don't know, you are from Illinois, went to Illinois State, and get to play for your hometown team. That's got to be yeah. quite a thrill. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a great opportunity uh, coming, out of, coming out of college in free agency. I was able to, you know, kind of pick almost. So um, I had the opportunity to come to Chicago, talk to Coach Fox, and, you know, kind of talk with my family. It was perfect, uh, perfect plan. So. Yeah, had a good rookie season, and then, then preseason you got hurt. How's the knee doing now? It's doing better. Uh, what was know. the injury? Tell me. Uh, I tore my ACL. Ooh, that doesn't yeah. sound fun. Mm. Yeah, no. That it's, was pretty painful, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't <laughs> wish it on anybody, that's for sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it didn't really hurt at the time. I knew what was wrong. Oh, you so, did. Um, you know, at that point, it was just, all right, you know, I, I, know, I know what I got to do to get back now. So. How long is the recovery? Um, when you have a 20 ACL? next season. Okay, good. Sure. Great. Yeah. But the beauty is you're doing such great work in your long off season. You're partnering with Mercy Home. And uh, tell us what, you know, what you're doing there. Yeah, um, you know, I'm not able to play right now. I'm not able to really give back. So I'm, I want to give back my time. And, you know, um, Mercy Home does a great job with taking in kids, um, giving them opportunity to, you know, kind of grow and learn, you know, how to be a, you know, grown up. So uh, to go in there and be able to kind of give my feedback is going to be a good time. They're going to love having you there. And I see oh, yeah. you're also partnered with Cray. Oh, yeah. Tell me about Cray. Yeah, uh, Cray is a great company. We, you know, they've got a, a sports drink. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we started partnering with some companies, doing some good work charity wise. And, um, Mercy Home is a perfect opportunity for us, and um, you know this is just a great opportunity. Yeah, we had a chance to send our cameras out to Mercy Home. Take a look. Mercy Home for Boys and Girls has served an astonishing 31,000 kids in their 130-year history. 19-year-old Justice has been living at Mercy for seven months. If it wasn't for Mercy, then I'll probably be out on the streets with you know no help, no family. She's a junior in high school and plans to go to college to be a nurse. She's incredibly grateful to the staff. They worry about us. They try to make sure we're doing the right thing and, you know, they're kind of like your parents. 17-year-old DJ has been at Mercy for a year and a half. He loves the access to activities. I love basketball. I've been playing since sixth grade. And being with boys just like him. We can make friends here. They foster his ambition. I would love to go to a D3 basketball school that provides photography, mechanical engineering. I hope to leave here knowing life skills like how to feed myself and save money. Both DJ and Justice say the best part of Mercy is how it has changed their lives. Being loved, you know, they, they love us. Such a great organization. Yeah. You can partner with so many different organizations. Why did you choose the Mercy Home? Um, just you know their their um, their motto really just what they what they stand for and um, you know what they're doing for those kids is something special. You know, kind of taking on responsibility that you know it's a, it's a heavy load and all right. those kids in there and they're you know feeding them and you know taking care of them. That's a that's a huge deal. So right. I'm happy to be a part of that. And a huge honor. And we want to bring in Tom Gallardi, who runs all the youth programs over at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm good. So let me ask you. It's got to be really really huge. For you to have Cam that partnered up with you to want to do so great things for Mercy Home. Uh, we're just so delighted with Cray and Cam. And, you know, Cam's really an inspiration for a lot of our kids. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Mercy Home, we have four major programs. So we do mentoring in the community and we do our live-in program, residential care, which is Cam will be there tonight. And we're super grateful to him and, and Cray and, and uh, folks for making dinner for us tonight. We're super, the kids are super excited to see him and some of his teammates. Yeah. Um, All right. Thanksgiving a little early. Right. Are you, are you a good chef, Cam? Are you preparing the turkey? <laughs> I'm not going to prepare the turkey. Not going to prepare. You're <laughs> delivering the no, turkey. Yeah, I, I think he could play with the kids, maybe. And guess what, yeah. Cam and Tom? We wanted to give you a little kickstart for helping out those kids over at Mercy. So our friends at Wilson have sent over $2,500 over that worth of football, basketball, oh, nice. soccer ball. Yeah. 